Good morning. Welcome to Jam and Sunday Club this morning. I hope you're all well and had a really good week. This week, we're going to talk about something quite special. So today is a very special day in the calendar and this that I'm wearing here will give you a bit of a clue as to why it's so special. So what do you think this is that I'm wearing here? Does anybody know what this flower is actually called? Well, this is actually called a poppy. And today is a special day called Remembrance Sunday. But I wonder what Remembrance Sunday is really all about and why on Remembrance Sunday do we all wear poppies? Because lots of you and lots of your mums and dads and at school and everybody around you'll see people wearing poppies. But what's that got to do with Remembrance Sunday? Remembrance Sunday is the special day that we take every year to remember all the people that are in our armed forces. Now, what are our armed forces? Well, that's people that are in the army, the navy, the RAF, all these sorts of people that have fought for our country to give us some freedom many, many years ago and still do today. So it started off over a hundred years ago in the Great War. And when people there fought hard to save us and to give us the freedom that we have in this country now, and then we had the Second World War in the 40s. And that was the same sort of thing. People were out fighting for our freedom so that we made sure that the people here in our country were free to live their lives and go about their daily jobs. And the poppy was chosen as the flower to remember all of that because it was a special flower that grew in the fields in a place called Flanders, and was where a lot of soldiers were buried who died in the wars. And we've got a little film all about the fields of Flanders to show you just now, which was shown on CBeebies and some of you may have seen, but it's just a short film and it tells you all about the soldiers and the poppies and what it all means. So I hope you enjoy that. It's a great little film that, isn't it? And it tells you all about the poppies growing up in the amazing fields after the soldiers died. But freedom is something that they fought for for us. But we have a lot of things that we're free to do in this world, don't we? We are free to come to church on a Sunday. And whether that's online like we've been doing for the last few months or actually being able to get back together again like we used to be able to do, we can come to church and we can worship together. <clears throat> we can um, choose what we want to wear. We've got a certain amount of freedom to choose what we want to wear every day. We can choose where we want to live. So your mums and your dads and will have chosen the house that you live in now 
and where you are and what you do. You might have a certain bit of choice as to what you have for your tea each night. You might have freedom to choose the things that affect your lives. And certainly when you grow up a little bit, you've got the choice at school as to what subjects you choose to study, what university you might go to, or college you might go to, or job you might get, or apprenticeship you might take. So we have lots and lots of choices that help us to be really free. But there is one person who gives us all of this freedom in our Christian lives. I wonder who, if you can think who that might be. Yeah, that's Jesus, isn't it? Jesus died on the cross to give us the freedom that we have today, free from sin, free from the bad things in life. And just like those soldiers fought for us to give us our freedom in our countries, in our lives, Jesus fights for us in our Christian lives every day. And he died on the cross to give us that freedom, but he is still fighting every single day with you. And we sing a song in church about God's suit. And some of you were together singing that and dancing um, when we played it recently in our church service. That God's suit is all about putting the armour of God on and actually fighting um, God's fight, being in the God's army. And that's the most important thing that you guys can do. You guys can accept and be thankful for the freedom that Jesus gave you so that you can actually be part of God's army. And that's an amazing thing to be part of. And all you have to do is continue to love and abide by what Jesus has said in the Bible. Look after each other, care for one another, love each other and not make enemies and confess your sins. So if there's anything that you've done that's wrong and you ask forgiveness, you say you're sorry and you ask for forgiveness. And that way we can all stay in God's army and have this amazing journey, getting to know him and becoming more and more like him. So if you remember the soldiers that fought for your freedom and the fact that you're here now on this earth because Jesus has given you freedom, then that's what it's all about. And this poppy will help us to remember those things. So maybe if you're driving past church or you're driving past Newton Church Hall over the next few days, you'll be able to see some of the poppy displays that we've got. And people have been kind enough to make us poppies like this out of knitted or crocheted and they're all hanging around the tree at St John's and hanging around the, the cross at the Newton Church Hall. And then we could also have things like this, for example. Now, Emily's mum, Anne, handed these in to me yesterday because the, some of the children at Danderhall Primary in Primary 5 had made these poppies. So we're going to be putting these up into the windows of the Newton Church Hall so that everybody can see the poppies that they've made. And they've made them by cutting out paper into the shape of poppies and sticking two rows together, can you see, um, over a black piece of card. And maybe you too could make something like this, or maybe somebody in your family can learn how to crochet or to knit and make you a little poppy. Or you could pop down to church and you could paint or decorate a stone which reminds you of poppies and freedom and Jesus. And you could lay it on the on the steps of St John's Church or around the railings at Newton uh, Church Hall. And that would be great. That would be one way that you could join in with Poppy Day this Sunday. Let's say our little prayer to God to thank him for freedom. We put our hands out, our hands up and our hands down. Lord, we thank you this week as we celebrate Remembrance Day. Let us remember to stop and to thank you, God, for those who have paid the price for our freedom. Let us also remember, God, to thank you that you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross so that we may also have our freedom. Keep us safe, Lord. Walk with us, guide us and support us in the week ahead and help us to always be thankful for the freedom that we have. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. Amen. So, until I can be with you again, have a wonderful week. Stay safe. Make us some poppies or decorate some stones. And I'll see you again very soon. God bless. <laughs>